We're following up tonight on a story from our nonprofit news partners at Investigative Post. Now, they reported that fewer than half of the 15,000 laptop computers that Buffalo Public Schools issued to students last year have been returned for needed upgrades. Channel 2's Dave McKinley spoke with the district's chief technology officer about it today. Some 8,000 laptops that went home with students last year have yet to be returned to the district's technology hub on South Park Avenue for needed sanitizing and reprogramming. We're talking about a couple million dollars in stuff right now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if they haven't been returned, where are they? At this point, we presume that they are still in the hands of our students, and we're cautiously optimistic that they will return when the students return to the school buildings next week when school reopens. She insists that to say the computers are unaccounted for would be inaccurate. They are accounted for because we know who those devices were assigned to. Yes, sure, but you don't know where they are because you don't have them. To our knowledge, they are still with the students unless we are informed otherwise. Presuming those laptops are still with those students, they aren't compatible with the district's updated systems and those students won't be fully equipped for learning on them when school starts next week. If you have 8,000 to do, how long is that going to take you? It depends on how quickly we get them all back. It, in general, it will take us about three days to turn a device around, but if we get thousands back, all at once, then we will manage those accordingly. Oh, okay, but if you get thousands back all at once, how many weeks is it going to take you to catch up on this? We will manage them accordingly. We will decide, you know, if we need to augment our staff with additional resources, and we will turn them around as quickly as possible based on the number of resources that we can assign to this. According to a source who spoke with the investigative post, it could take until October to complete that task. That's why they're urging parents and students to get those laptops back here to 1515 South Park, pronto. And we're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Dave. And if you missed the original story we aired yesterday from our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post, just head over to investigativepost.org to check it out.